Hey guys welcome back to another tutorial. And today we will create this promotional cover design for Facebook page in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. This is the default size of a Facebook cover. But you can choose any other dimensions that you like. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Apply a dark green color to this rectangle. Note down the RGB code for this color and apply it. Now select the ellipse tool, and create a circle while holding down the shift key. Change its color so you can see it. Now open the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to this circle. And invert it. Now apply a light green color to both sides of this gradient. Click on this right slider of the gradient. And decrease its opacity to zero. Now we have a nice shade like this. You can always adjust this gradient as you like. And scale it up to increase the shade in the background. Note down the RGB code for this light green color that I've used and apply it in the gradient. Now select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle like this. Apply a gray color to this rectangle. Note down the RGB code for this gray color as well. Select this rectangle. Go to Effect. Distort and Transform. And Zigzag. Decrease the size to 5 pixels. Select 10 ridges per segment. Click on Smooth Points, and hit OK. Slightly adjust the position of this rectangle. Now we will add a food image here in front of this green shade. Download this food image from the video description. And drag it in Illustrator. Scale it down according to the artboard. Now apply a shadow to this image. Go to Effect. And select Drop Shadow from the list. Note down these values for the shadow. And hit OK. Now the image is looking more realistic. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our image and the full background. Add some headline text here for the banner. Select the type tool, and write some headline text. Apply the same grey color to this text. Note down the font that I've used here and slightly increase the font size. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Replace it with some other text. And apply a yellow color to this copy of the text. Note down the RGB code for this color. Use some decent font for this larger text. And further increase its font size. Note down the font that I've used here. Slightly adjust the position of this headline. 
Now add some text here about the food products. Select the type tool, and create a text box here. Write some text about the food products. Change its color to the same gray shade. And decrease the font size according to the text box. Use some other font for this text box. And adjust this text box like this. Note down the font that I've used for this text box. Now slightly decrease its opacity to 80%. Add your logo above the headline text. Drag your logo in Illustrator. And scale it down. Adjust its position above the headline. and align it to the center of this headline text. Now add some contact info here at the bottom side. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Change its color to the same yellow shade. Go to effect and round its corners. Select a suitable value for this rectangle. And hit OK. Now write some text for this rectangle. Align it to the center of this rectangle. Increase its font weight to bold text and adjust the font size. Create a copy of this text. And add a contact number here. Slightly increase its font size to make it more appropriate. Adjust the position of this contact info at the bottom side. Now create a copy of this contact number. And write some helpful link here on the right side. Change the font weight to regular. And adjust its position. Now add some discount offer here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a circle here. Now select the pen tool, and create a small triangle shape. Place this shape in front of the circle. Now select both these shapes. And open the Pathfinder window. If you cannot see this Pathfinder panel, go to Window. And here you will see Pathfinder. Open this panel. And click on Unite to join both these shapes. Change its color to the same gray shade. Click on this small arrow to remove the fill and apply a stroke. Now create a copy of this text. Change its color to the same gray shade. And write some discount offer. You can write any discount offer that you like. Select this full discount text. And increase its font weight. 
slightly increase the font size of this number. Now adjust this discount text in this circular shape. Place this discount offer closer to the food image. Our cover design is now complete. Go to Object, and select Unlock All. This will unlock all the layers that we've locked earlier. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.